Is there any objection? 10. So we have 20 and 10. 18. 18, 2. <laughs> any others? 16. 16. 16. All right, we're going to start with 20. All those in favor of 20 minutes of debate time, raise your hands. All right, hands down. All those opposed? The ayes have it. 20 minutes. I am now going to suggest that we move to nominations for the Mark Protection Committee since we have to do that today and we are running perilously low on time. Is there any objection to moving to the Mark Protection Committee report and nominations? No. Seeing none, all right, Mr. Stanley as the committee chair. Where's the NPC report? Yeah, I put this in the wrong place, so. Um, Mr. Chairman, I am Kevin Stanley. I am chairman of the World Science Fiction Society's Mark Protection Committee. For those of you who are new, that is the only permanent body of the World Science Fiction Society. Its primary job is to take care of protecting and registering the service marks of the World Science Fiction Society. Those are like trademarks, things like the word Worldcon and Hugo Award. We are also incidentally responsible for maintaining the permanent websites of the organization, worldcon.org, nasfic.org, uh, wispus.org, and thehugoaward.org. The full report is with you. I won't go into it in detail. You don't want that. But I want to call attention to two particular things that have been projects of the committee now for something on the order of a decade. We have finally managed to get full control of the Worldcon, NASFIC, and WISFIS websites and rearrange them and get them to a much more easily manageable form. Uh, and I'm really grateful to all the people who helped on that. We've been trying to do that for a long time. It's a lot better now. The other item before us, and we have been had the policy of registering the service marks of the organization in every place that is held at least two world cons. Uh, however, the only place we've ever actually gotten it done was the United States. For this purpose, the European Union is considered one country, and we have been working on registering some of the important, most important service marks with the European Intellectual Property Organization. I'm very pleased to report that as of this time, we have received registration on the word Worldcon and on the Hugo Award logo. And having dealt with several objections we had to handle, sometime later this year, uh, I expect the registration on the Hugo Award, it's on Hugo Award itself, the word the is not part of it, but the registration on Hugo Award itself should go through. Those are our three most important service marks. And just incidentally, uh, nobody knows what Brexit will do to that. So we're not going to discuss that here. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, yeah, are there any questions for Mr. Stanley? Seeing none, we are going to move to opening nominations for the Mark Protection Committee. The three members of the committee whose terms are expiring this year are Mr. Stanley, Mr. Illingworth, and Mr. Ben Yellow. Are there any nominations to I nominate the retiring members? Is there a second to nominate? Second. Are there any other nominations? The 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 nomination was for the three retiring members, so the three people whose names I just read, those three. Are there any other nominations? Rick had it. Tim and Beth. Yes. He's getting there. Point of primary inquiry. If no one else nominates, does that mean that we don't actually have to have a vote? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that is present. Yes. It would have to wait till tomorrow, but we would not have a vote. We couldn't dispense with a vote today, but it would be <coughs> dispensed with. Yes. Well, that's 
have to sign that, that they There would be the time for write-ins, which is why we couldn't dispense with it today. Is there, is there a motion to close nominations? Move to close. Second. Is there any objection to closing nominations? Seeing none, we go back to B.2.5. For what purpose does the member rise? So there's a motion to postpone B.2.5 additional finalists indefinitely. Is there a second? Sorry, 16. That, yes. Is it possible to move Is it possible to move to call the question at this time? We don't have a question to call. Oh, yeah, it was a second. It was a second. Yeah. 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 Um, there has to be one speech in no. Nope. No. You can decline. Okay. Maybe not. Okay. I, I so move. Is there a second to? Oh, can we can we take a break? Sure. I gotta I gotta figure out where. We're gonna hold up just for a second for the secretary. B two five. I know, but I gotta find it. For what purpose does the member rise? I, I think it's parliamentary. Uh, I'm new to this. So there is currently a motion to call the question on the floor. We're just waiting for the secretary. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm just wondering are these. Uh, these yes, please are, state your name and speak uh, into the Hyman Rosen. On these uh, movements to uh, postpone indefinitely, it just seems we're just advancing the debate we would have on it to today instead of waiting until the time of debate. The debate on postponement indefinitely is not meant to be a substantive debate on the motion. It's meant to be on whether or not we should debate it at all. I understand, but so far it has been, though. People have been making substantive arguments. <laughs> all right, there is a motion. Mr. Stanley. Mr. Chairman, am I right to uh, understand that you have ruled the motion on the previous question to close debate on the motion to postpone indefinitely in order? Yes. I raise a point of order that under the standing rules, the motion for the previous question is not in order when either or both sides have not had a chance to speak to the motion at all. Well, we offered him a chance. <laughs> there is another side to the motion, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> all right. Is, yes. That, so the speech in favor, your point is well taken. The speech in favor will go first. I apologize, the motion is not in order. Thank you, uh, Aaron Davies. Um, this is the most anti-democratic of all the Hugo modification options. As far as I can tell, the correct subtitle for this should be screw democracy. I am as offended by this at least as the previous speaker was by the three-stage voting. Medical. Ms. Hayes as the maker of the motion. As the maker of the motion, I will be the first to admit it has numerous flaws. However, I believe it deserves a chance to at least be debated. That is all I have to say. All right. Is there anybody else wishing? Ms. Secor, for what purpose does the member rise? You have the floor. Hi, everybody. I actually think that this motion is completely antithetical to the spirit of the Hugos, and therefore we should just get it off the thing and not even talk about it. That's what the motion to postpone indefinitely does. It's not about is this a good motion or a bad motion. It's about should we even talk about it, and I actually think the answer in this case is probably no. Is, there's a motion to call the question. Is there's a second. Is there any objection to calling the question? Objection. Are, who still wishes to speak to the motion to postpone indefinitely? I see one hand, two hands. Yeah. And I'm okay. I, I, I speak to 
There, there are people wishing to still speak. We're going to